YouTube. This is Hex Max. I just got a couple freebies today, and you're looking at one of them. Ancient Briggs & Stratton motor. It's got the old uh, pull-style cup start on it, and the good news is it spins over free. Now, got to sit on my workbench here. It's, it's not, it seems like it's in pretty decent shape. As you can see, you can, well, let me take this off and I'll show you. What really surprised me is it still has the old uh, air acorn style uh, oil bath air filter on it. The uh, filter is still in good shape. It actually still has oil in it. Wow, surprising. Yeah. Take that thing off and you can still see inside of it. No squirrels, no mice, no nothing. So far, so good. Now I did keep a look at it for a while. I did check some things out on it. So looking at the carburetor, which being a fuel injected Volkswagen guy, I don't really know too much about carburetors, but this moves, which seems good. This right here, which I'm assuming is a choke of some sort, moves. I think that's a, like a drain cock for the bowl. I don't really know too well. I don't really mess with small engines much, but hopefully this endeavor will change that. And this throttle linkage seems to work. And it moves this thing here, which I'm assuming has a cable that attaches to it at some point. And it's got this old fork style spark plug wire. It's got this ancient AC Delco plug on it, which unscrewed by hand when I first got it, so it really makes me wonder what's going on. If you look at the spark plug, well, you can't really see because I am using a mobile phone, so it doesn't really help much. But I will assure you the spark plug's in pretty decent shape. Now you look down in the hole there and you see a little bit of rust on the cylinder on the top of it, like I'm assuming where it hasn't been run, but you can kinda Let's see if I can do that again. Yeah, you can see the piston going up and down in there. See? See there it is. Up and down. Now the good news is it's free. The bad news is when you put your hand over the exhaust pipe here, which is how about that? It's classy, it's a pipe. When you put it over the pipe, you can feel it sucking and blowing, so I'm assuming the exhaust valve is stuck open. It's got a nice gas tank on it. Let me spin it around here. It's got a nice gas tank on it. It's an old rectangular unit. Screw top, of course. Works great, but however, you can't see in it. Let's see if I can find my little cap. Here we go. All right. Now, the thing about this engine is it's got a nice dual pulley setup on it. But you can kind of see, my light's a little strong, but you can kind of see there's a big notch cut out of that one, so whatever I do, this outer pulley is basically worthless. But the inner pulley on it's still good. It, uh, it's in pretty decent shape. But the bad news is, I do not see an ID on it anywhere. And my thing is, I'd like to know what type of engine this is. I know it's not a Model N, because those are way way older and the fins on the head are much different and uh, I don't know a lot of people talk about FH models this may be an FH I don't know but it's got the it's a horizontal shaft it's a bottom sump what I think's really neat about it is it's here on the fairing it's got uh, an old uh, B and an S which makes me think it's a Briggs and Stratton motor which I'm assuming it is and it has has all the outer markings of the Briggs and Stratton motor, which is pretty sweet. So, I'm going to be taking it apart, try to get the exhaust valve stuck, maybe put it unstuck. Try to get it uh, fixed up and figured out. But, uh, anything that you guys might know about this, would be awesome to tell me. Because, like I said, I'm not a small engine man, but I'd like to be. So, uh, yeah. Shout out in the comments, see if you can figure out anything. And the next thing I got, another freebie, it's this guy right here. Now this guy is obviously not in as good a shape, however, the carburetor is here, this linkage right here moves, which I'm assuming is the throttle speed, the, uh, that's probably the bleeder for the bowl, this thing, I'm guessing is a choke, it's, oh, it's not froze anymore, it was froze earlier today, but then again, it was about 28 degrees outside, that might do it, but, uh, this engine, is when I looked at it, I saw this head, and I was like, I've never seen a Briggs & Stratton with a head like that before. And I got to looking at it a little bit more, and I was like, 
Hmm. Still got the flywheel, still got... So that means the magneto is probably complete, because, you know, here's a spark plug wire for it. I started looking at it, and I'm like, huh, that looks like it takes a kickstart. So I was like, alright, kickstart bricks, right? No, wrong. The block is all wrong. If you look at the block, that, 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 that's not a brick block. So, looks awful strange. It's got some red paint on it, if you can see it right here, a little bit of red paint. And I started to look, and I found this ID tag here. Let me get it in the light so maybe you can see it a little better. If you see that, on the bottom it says Clinton Machine Company. This is a Clinton motor. And uh, it says it's a B764. It's either COP, CCP, OOP. I, I can't really make it out, honestly. I think it's a COP motor. It's a cop motor. It goes fast. But uh, for the research that I did on it, it's a B700 series motor, and it's, I think it's either two or two and a quarter horse at 3200 RPM, which is actually pretty fast. Uh, this did have a glass visible style uh, carburetor air filter bowl here, oil bath, but uh, it's long since been gone. I'm certain it's been missing since like the 70s, because they haven't made these motors since the late 50s, early 60s, and it got replaced by the C-Series. And look at that. I just found this out. It's got a Carter carburetor on it, Model N. So if you guys know anything about that, shout out in the comments, too. I'm assuming this is where the oil goes in. It's, well, it was frozen solid, like the other thing, but sometimes you get lucky. <clears throat> oh, but uh, this thing's locked up tighter than a drum. I can't get it to move. It looks like it's got a kickstart gear on it, so it's missing its kickstart somewhere. So I'm lucky Savage has one, and I don't. I gotta try to rig up maybe a pull start to this thing or something. But that is a neat little, neat little linkage on it right here for the throttle. It's really strange. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, if you guys know what it is, holler at me. Tell me. I think it's a neat looking motor. I'd like to uh, I'd like to get some work done on this. But if you know where to get any parts for it, more important. Because the big thing is, I've never heard of a Clinton machine company before. I looked it up, they're still around, and apparently they made a lot of these motors, but I can't hardly find parts for it. And when I do, i got to buy them individual. I can't find any gasket kits like you can for good old-fashioned brakes. So, uh, yeah, shoot me one. Thanks a lot, guys.